What's going on guys? Gabe here from the Fortum X. Today we got a very sick video on hand. We've got a brand new 2022 stock YZ450 right here in the box. Just ordered it, just came in the mail a couple days ago. Uh, what we're going to be doing with this bike is making this bike right here on the screen. Basically what it is, it is a Clum MX version replica. So I've got all the tools that I need. Um, so basically what we're going to be doing, I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how I make graphics from, how I um, be able to change the color on the plastics, and yeah, we're going to go from there. So get excited guys, this video is going to be awesome, and you guys have actually um, asked for a video like this. So yeah, stay tuned all the way to the end, and let's get going. So, I have now finished everything. As you can see, my hands are real blue, nasty. And uh, <laughs> saving my shaver, but sander, but. Oh, as you can see, it looks like real ugly right now, but I sanded it all down. So you got basically all that blue, blue like clear film over it. So it looks real nice. I uh, got it all down. You don't want it too far down to where like you can see the metal, but it's okay to get it here and there. But uh, basically you just want it to look like it's uh, like powdered almost. So got like a powdered blue look to it. And uh, that's perfect. Same with the front fender. The front fender and anything else that has like a lot of curves and points to it, you want to make sure you go a little lighter, but uh, in the crevices to get uh, real good. So you get all that blue and uh, that shiny part. So yeah, everything looks good. Now I'm gonna meet you downstairs and outside to start spray painting. All right guys, so we're out here in my garage. I don't really recommend doing it in the garage, but it's real cold and rainy outside. So right now what you're gonna be doing in here, make sure you clear your surroundings and make sure you have a surface that you're okay with getting stained on and that's like not gonna be able to get removed. So today for the body right here, you're gonna be doing an all white. Uh, right here I got a gloss, um, like enamel, like white look. It looks real sick. We're gonna be using that for the um, actual body. For the fender and front number plates, we're gonna be using this sky blue turquoise looking. So this will be basically matching the replica what I'm gonna be making. Uh, I got the idea from the Alex Martin mag, uh, uh, bike picture in the magazine. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for reference, but uh, I'm gonna probably put my own number on it, but uh, yeah, we'll see. So yeah, I'm gonna get going really quick. Now that we got the first coat on of everything, right here we have got this sitting right here. As you can see, it's starting to like, like wipe off a little bit. That's okay, that's just the first coat. I went real light on the first coat. Over here, as you can see, it's settling in real nice, nice on the fender and everything. So yeah, let's get now inside and design the graphics. <laughs>
We are now, it is like a couple days in since we've been doing this. Everything is done and coated, looks real nice. We got the front fender right here, looking all dialed. We got the body right here, all painted, very glossy, very nice, very smooth. And then same with the front plate right here. So yeah, um, got the graphics set right here. Had to change the color of the front fender because this blue is a little dark that I'm using for everything else. So that's what we're gonna be using. And yeah, it should be pretty good. And time lapse is putting everything in lamination and then putting it on. Uh, this part's probably the easier process out of everything. And then after that, we just gotta put it back together. We're gonna take the blue rims off of the original frame and everything, put black rims on. But before we put those rims on, I'm gonna um, color coat the hubs to that uh, sky blue. So it's gonna look really sick, really awesome, and I'm gonna get right to it. Enjoy, guys. Officially done. Took about 30 minutes to get it completely done, but wow, the freaking plastics come out sick. So this is what we got for the front fender. It looks really, really dialed, really good. It gets it in the sunlight some better. But wow, it looks really good. Really surprised on how that came out. Now if we look at the front front number plate, came out just as good. And we got the back here, came out real nice. As you can see at the top, started like come off the spray paint. So I put a piece of lamination over it, made it real nice, nice. So yeah, that should be good. Uh, all the plastics and graphics lined up real, real nice. Really excited about that. And yeah, now what we gotta do is go upstairs, throw it on, and then uh, adjust some things, and then yeah, we'll go from there. All right, now that we are done getting up here and everything, and all the plastics and graphics are done, it is now time to take the wheels off and to swap them out. Uh, but first, what we're gonna do is probably find us uh, find a spare tires and uh, get ready for all of those. And then what we'll do, we'll put the front end on on all back together, grease it all up, trim everything up so we have more uh, um, access to spin the bars and more. Um, I guess you can say play, so we have more room. And yeah, that's what we're gonna get to get going to. So yeah. <laughs> 